Let's have a choir come at this time. sing our first hymn. Brother Derek, will you open our service up? Yes. Heavenly Father, thank you for the day that you've given us to serve you, God. Please bless the service, uh, bless the singing and the test testimonies and the preaching, God. We just pray there are any souls here that need uplifted or saved, that it would, you would do it and that your will would be done. Please bless this fellowship and we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Joy Unspeakable, page 530. Six. <clears throat> Brother, bless the offering, Brother Lift. 
Father God, we just thank you, Lord, for the service so far. Lord, we thank you for Sunday two hour, Lord. We just, as we fall down and take up this offering, Lord, we just ask, Lord, that you just bless the gift, and bless the giver, Lord, and be used in the building of that people. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Learning to lean, page 456. <coughs> Jesus said, Come unto me and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Jesus is your answer for rest and joy. Uh, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer. Our prayer hymn is 565. We're about 100. And before we ask Brother David J. John to lead us in prayer, We'll take your prayer requests at this time. Like for the church a member of Boyd Rose, Billy Cosby, Del Marcham, and Harry. You are. Did, did everybody hear uh, Jackie's prayer request back here? I think he did, didn't you? No. No? You want to repeat it for me? For Dale Bartram, Billy Cosby, uh, Floyd Rose, and little Harry, he has his eye surgery tomorrow. Let's remember these prayer requests this morning. And tomorrow, let's remember to pray for this young one. Somebody else? Pray for God. He, he uh, starts his chemo tomorrow. Let's remember, buddy, as he starts his chemo tomorrow. Did I hear somebody else back here? Charlie, I just want to ask you to please remember Jared in prayer. My son, his, his heart needs softened. Just talking to him. And he knows. I mean, I think in his mind he thinks he's saved. But he just, he's not. His heart really needs softened. Amen. I just need him up and in prayer. Let's not all remember Jeremy. Carry in our prayers for uh, Betty. Let's remember the loss in our family. I've got, I've got four that's, you know, that's been saved, and I think they think they're saved, but their hearts are not, not in it. They're just somebody else. Sure. Continue to pray for Walter Ice and. How's Bob doing? He's still on. Not the same. Somebody else. For my brother. Um, hopefully we'll see him here tonight. I hope. You know, I've talked to him, so maybe let's pray for him and for my grandmother, my mother, for me. Amen. Go ahead, brother. The McLean family for the loss of the mother. Let's remember this request. Let's remember others who lost loved ones recently that God's grace will still be with them. Charlie, remember the loss of, all the loss of our family. And uh, uh, I was talking to Janie Spars, and she said that she took Danny back up, and, and he was cancer free, they said. But he's still not very good, so. <laughs> 
Praise God. Yeah. Did you guys hear the report that she gave of Danny Spars? He uh, he got a good report that uh, he's cancer free, so he's not doing all that well yet. But let's continue to pray for him. He's got different few issues, different different things growing besides cancer. Yes, though. he's got other things that. I remember uh, Jerry and Jeremy. They'll be going flying to Iceland on Wednesday. Let's remember the church as a whole. Let's remember Brother Jamie. Uh, when we were up at the Bearman Church Saturday, or when we were up there Friday, um, Alexis, when she was little, had a little bus, had a bus driver. His name's Mr. Day, and uh, he's got pancreatic cancer, and he's not going to be here. They give up on uh, his treatments, and uh, he's now a janitor, I think, for Vinnie County Schools. He's one of the janitors. But I asked that you pray for Day, pray for his wife and children. And that God will comfort them. Yes, amen. Charlie, you remember Larry? Yes, we. Um, I saw him the past yesterday. So, remember the Sure, let's remember this request. Remember, fork your message. He's not going to take any more treatment. He's supposed to take four more treatments. He's not going to take any more treatments. Pray for him. Pray for lost and money, Dad's family. Amen. Let's yeah. remember John's mom. She's home, but she'll still have to have something done with them kidneys or the stones, right? Yeah. So let's pray that that'll be taken care of with. Pray for his pregnation. Sure, sure. Charlie, remember my family for salvation. All of my, my kids and grandkids. And, uh, Alicia and Diggin and Sean will be traveling home this week, so pray for their traveling mercies. Amen. There's request pray for traveling mercies for a family coming from Florida. You know, if we if we first pray with thankful hearts and then pray for our spiritual needs and bring our physical needs ladder. You know, it's 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 a it's a sure thing if we pray if we pray for our spiritual needs first. A lot of these physical needs will be taken care of. I believe. I don't know. But I I truly believe that. But anyway, let's go to the Lord in prayer after we sing our prayer hymn. I need thee every hour. Every hour, every minute, every second. Uh, we're going to ask uh, Brother, I've already asked Davy to leave us off after our prayer. Hymn.
Any other requests? All hearts clear. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Fathers, we come to you this morning, Father, to bless each and every one of us, Father, I pray. Lord, you've heard the request of your people, Father. We pray that you take care of it, Lord, in your own dear will, not in our will, but in your own will, Father. Lord, we commit the sick and shut in the morning, Lord, in the hospitals, the nursing home. Once it's home, Lord, not be able to be out of God's house, Father. Now, Lord, we want to thank you for keeping each and every one of us safe throughout this week, Lord. We just thank you for what you've done up to this point. Most of all, we want to thank you for what you're going through, Father. Just be the remainder of the service. Lord, just bless the testimony if it happens to be so. Be for testimony, Lord. Be for special singing, Father. If it happens to be so, be for speaker dialing, Lord. We'll just give you all this. Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, in Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. This time, the choir will bless. 310.
who's going to be first to brag on the Lord because their sins are gone this morning. Amen. Praise God. I really bless my heart. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Sure, we'll stand up and stand up, Lord. Thank you for what He's done for us. And uh, yeah, we went to the fair this week. So, and I want, I want to thank everybody that came and helped out. And we'll especially thank Johnny and David. Amen. They went up in the daytime to make sure there was ice in the coolers and they had everything ready. And, you know, they didn't have to do that. But I'm thankful they did. And yes, amen. I think we planted a few seeds. You know, there was a couple of people last night came and said, now, where was your church at? Yeah. We gave them papers and we gave them directions on how to get here. And um, I told them, we told them that we were having stuff on Hill tonight. And, um, and you yeah, know, you ask if they go to church and, you know, there's different go to the church. But... Uh, they say they do. But uh, I'm thankful that we were able to plant a seed. And we got ready to leave last night, and we, were, we still had like probably a half a case of water or something like that. So we got down to there to the icon parties. The people were in the booths with the right company. Amen. <laughs> and uh, they had come over, and we had to give them water and stuff because, you know, it's, it was hot out there. Even yeah. to sit there, it was hot. And uh, the guy that was across from us, of course, he was there last year, too. And I give him the water, give him three bottles of water. He said, well, we had, we had a pretty good week this week. And I said, yeah, well, I mean, it rained every day. I don't worry about it. It was a good week. But, and he said, see you next year. I was like, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him this year bottle of water. that had this great big monkey idol for what it was. Of course, nobody ever won them big prizes. I said, I gave you these three bottles of water. You didn't get that monkey right there. Yeah, uh, not. <laughs> I didn't get the monkey, but he got the three bottles of water, and that's okay. And I'm sure that he heard us talking to people. And yes, amen. It's hard for them to go to church, and I don't know where they, you know, where they stand. But you know, I just maybe something we said or done will make them realize that maybe they need to change their lifestyle and get things right. Amen. I'm just thankful for all he does for me. And for me. Yes, and the and the gentleman that she was talking about a couple of times, he. When we was breaking down, he came over and asked if he could help or if we needed any help. And I thought that was awful nice. I mean, uh, probably because he saw you and David every time you bumped your arm, you wiped the blood. And it's like <laughs> <laughs> we had some blood running from our arms. Then we did. <laughs> David's wicked with that knife. <laughs> I just want to thank you for four pairs of Yes, amen. But turn from King God, I mean, anything could have happened, I mean, the Lord was there. Praise God. Church for supporting the leadership like things did. Amen. It is great that they, they was able to go over there and come back without any trouble, without any just traveling mercies, you know. It's it's it ought to be just a praise right there just for your safety. Sure, I just want this opportunity to tell the Lord I love him this morning. I praise him. Uh, I was up working at water too and uh, uh, several people came to me and they wanted to talk about uh, Derek because sure. Derek was such a big light to several people up there. And they were shocked because of Derek's age and the fire that he had in his heart for the Lord. Amen. And I uh, talked to him about Derek. And, you know, he is our answer prayer. We ask God to help us be like to him that he might be saved. And he did. Amen. And, and now Derek is out 
and I've heard it from several people that have, we want to talk to you about that young man. And I'd say, what young man is that? And it was Derek. I just want to say I love the Lord tonight. You know, I, I just want to I thank you for what he's doing. You know, I, my vision is, is this place just be fun full of Derek. Amen. I love the Lord. Amen. I just want to praise the Lord this morning for for the health that I have and for saving my soul. I mean, some long time ago, I don't know, forever, I guess. But anyway, uh, I was speaking to the Gideons next door and they spoke well of John Daniels. I don't know what, I don't know what, what one one of them was, but evidently you'd been to a viewing of his lost, one of his lost loved ones or something. And, yeah, that's that was it. And he, yeah, I told him he's all the way down in the Cincinnati. Yes, Derry. Praise God. Amen. I really, God's guiding me, so I'm not going to fight too much. I'm not just going to keep going and do what I have to do. Yes, amen. Spirit, so I love this church. Bless you guys. It's great for me. Amen. amen. You know, our prayers, a lot of times we don't think you're getting answered or going to be answered. But I'm telling you that there's been prayers answered from once it's already gone to heaven. Uh, my grandmother prayed for my dad for years over and over and over. But finally, finally he gave up and was saved. I think he was probably in his late 70s then. So it's never too late. And uh, there's no time what so ever to give up on any prayer for a lost loved one. Somebody else with a song or testimony. Amen. Well, yes, that's. Amen. Praise God. Somebody else got a testament who also is coming. Well, I just thank you. She's, she's coming. I love to hear she singing. It's a blessing. Yes, it is. Amen. I love it. I feel an awful disappointed when she don't come up and pray. But I know you as the Holy Spirit leads you, guides you. Actually, I practiced a song that we sung earlier, but. Oh well. <laughs> My soul in sad exile was out on life's sea, so burdened with sin and distress, till I heard a sweet voice saying, make me your choice, and I entered the heaven of rest. I've anchored my soul in the heaven of rest. I'll sail the white seas no more. The tempest may sweep o'er the wild stormy deep. 
Jesus, I am saved evermore. I yielded myself to his tender embrace and faith taking hold of the word. My fetters fell off and I anchored my soul the haven of rest is my Lord I anchored my soul in the heaven of rest I'll sail the white seas no more the tempest may sweep the wild stormy sea in Jesus I'm safe evermore I've anchored my soul in the heaven of rest I'll sail the white sea I am safe evermore. In Jesus, I am safe evermore. What song was before that one? Uh, or after? Beyond the Sunset. After that one. After uh, I Need the Every Hour. That one. <laughs> sing it. I'm not sure. Sing it, well, because that, that's the third time it's that's come right. up this morning. <laughs> well, Jamie sang it during Sunday school, and then I had already picked it out before he ever sang it. I was done that before Sunday school started. And I had it. You need to sing it. There's a reason why that song has to be sung the third time. <laughs> Somebody testify. I stand and say I love the Lord this morning, John. Yeah, in Jesus, I'm safe every morning. Yes, you are. He knows we was all down there yesterday. Hundreds of thousands of people around. He knows all the terrorist attacks going on all over the country. But he and I didn't worry about things down there. Amen. Just didn't act, you know, just didn't worry about all that. You know, just see if there wasn't no sense in it. I know that going to happen. Amen. You got your anchor in Jesus, right? That's right. Savior, 
him today. Without him, I would be dying. Without him, my hope would be in vain. Turn with me to Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12. I just want to read one verse to you this morning. A verse that Brother Charlie has already read, but the, he read it out of the Old Testament. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29. Reads like this. For our God is a consuming fire. Almighty God, as we call upon your holy and your precious name, Father, we just love you today, Lord. Lord, we just feel so unworthy this morning, God, but truly, if there's ever a day, if there's ever an hour that we as a church of the living God need you today, Lord, it's today. Lord, with so much heartache and so much sorrow, so much turmoil, Lord, on every hand, people perishing are all around us, Lord, without a Savior. We ask you today, God, to take our feeble lives, Lord Jesus, and to use us as vessels unto honor, sanctified, meet for the Master's use, God, that souls may be saved, that lives may be changed, that the church may be revived and stand up as the giant that it is in this day and hour that we live. In Jesus' name we pray, and amen, and amen. You may be seated this morning, if you will. Uh, driving down the road this week and was studying the Word of God and, and, and uh, I thought about the, the phrase God is and we use it all the time. We say, what do we say? God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And I thought about that, just that first two letters or two words of that God is. Immediately my mind went to this verse and I began to run through other places in the Scripture today. And when I think about the different things that God is today, I begin to just 
My mind just, oh, it just went crazy of the things that our God is today. Do you realize what it is is to be a consuming fire? A consuming is a fire today. It's something that overtakes whatever it is that is a, 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 a grasp onto today. Uh, we, so I know we have a lot of firefighters in here, but when they roll up on a scene, they... And they begin to describe that place as what it is. You know, if it's engulfed, would be another word. There, that in other words, the house is just consumed everywhere in that house. That the fire has been. I wonder today: is there areas in our lives that is not being consumed by God? I wonder if our thoughts. I wonder if our minds. I wonder if our actions. I wonder if where our feet go. I wonder if where our eyes look. I wonder if where our ears hear. Is all these things consumed by the things of God today? I mentioned there in our prayer uh, as we uh, prayed before this scripture today. We live in a world that everywhere you turn, there's full of heartache and full of sorrow. Brother John actually called me there Friday evening and that. Uh, there's a lady in Galapagos that has passed away. And John's replying in the call that he got from his niece says that they don't have a don't have a preacher to even preach a funeral. And I know, you know, that Galapagos is plumb full of preachers today. Amen. But what a life today that is to, in, in my mind. I don't know the story, the whole story of uh, this lady yet, but I know this, brother. A life, listen, where there's no pasture, amen, is a life more likely. And it's been left empty, it's been left void of the things of God. I want you to understand that there's every day, and again, I thank each and every one of you that took the time this week that have either donated water or donated your time or whatever it is and to go up to the fairground to represent our church. I thank God for our youth leaders and for those that took enough time. I realize that some of us got to play some too, but it took enough time to show some interest in the lives of young men and women and let them know, listen, that in this world as a child of God, we can have fun, that we can rejoice. Our God is a consuming fire. We live in a world of time that it's seemingly our lives are consumed with busyness. Seem like that we no longer uh, come home from work. Uh, we eat our supper. It's bedtime. And we get up and the clock's going off and it's time to go to work. And we live in a day and a time and there are just seemingly not enough hours in the day to get the things done that needs done. But I want you to understand something. Amen. That Bible tells me to everything there is a purpose. That there is a time for everything under the sun. I want my life to be fully consumed. I want my thoughts to be fully consumed. I want my marriage to be fully consumed with God today. That when the world sees me, they don't see me. But they see the Lord that I serve. When I look and I begin to count all the blessings that I have in my life today. When I think about all the wonderful friends and people that pray for me constantly. Daily in and day out here at this church. I want you to know I feel unworthy sometimes. Hey man, to be your pastor, to be your friend. And I don't take those things for granted today. I want you to understand, hey man, we need to band together stronger now than what we ever have. Yeah. Our life is short. It's a vapor. I alluded to the fact a little bit earlier there. In about eight or nine days, I'll be 50. And I, I told someone earlier in this week, maybe it was Susie, as we was talking, I said, you know, I said, that means if a man's days are three score and ten, I said, "My, I, I've got 20 left. And maybe it was Katie. She said, what if you're 70? <laughs> Amen. What does, that, what does that leave? I want you to understand our life is a vapor that appeareth for a short season and then vanisheth away. Our God is a consuming fire. I want you to understand today Listen, I believe the Bible teaches us that God is 
love. And I believe as a child of God, if I am what I say that I am, I believe that I, my eyes will be full of love. I believe that my ears will be full of love. I believe that my feet will be full of love. Amen. That we'll not be quick to shed innocent blood. That we'll not jump to judgment every time that we see or we hear something, my friend. I want you to realize too many times when we, we jump to conclusions when we don't know the whole story. But understand this. Amen. If God, Jesus could look down from the cross to them that had just drove nails through his hands and his feet. Amen. Listen, surely there's nobody out there that you and I can't forgive, that you and I can't love, that you and I can't go the extra mile even and expect nothing in return. Do you realize why they drove nails in his hands and his feet? It's because he loved me. You can put you there and that me. Did he even love the soldiers that drove his nails, those nails in his hands and his feet? He loved the soldiers that laid the whip on his back. He died in their place. But most of all, most of all, he arose that we all might be justified in the eyes of God. Here's one for you. Our God is holy. Amen. He said, be ye holy, for I am holy. What does it mean, preacher? That means that we are to walk upright. That means that we are to live our life consecrated for a purpose. Amen. It amazes me, amen, when I look and I see all the people around the world that are led astray by different various religions and doctrines and how dedicated they are that if they could just get to that place, if they could do so many deeds, if they could do it, I'm thankful today for grace. I'm thankful that I don't have to do anything to merit heaven except Jesus, except for the fact that you have to accept Christ as Savior and Lord. You have to come out from among the world and be separate today and be holy for God is holy today. Amen. Here's one for you. God is just. Bible said, Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Do you realize if we go around sowing judgment, we'll reap judgment? But if we show mercy, if, we show, if we're sowing love, if we're sowing seeds of kindness, you know, we, when we think about sowing seeds, we hear it all the time. Oh, these big TV evangelists and televisions, uh, uh, they're all sow a seed, sow a seed, sow a seed. They're wanting money. But I realize, once you realize we've got more seeds to sow than just a financial. Yes, sow a seed of kindness. I'm going to tell you something. When you sow a smile, you. you're doing a great deed. Amen. Amen. I was sitting yesterday. Johnny was changing, and uh, and, and the girls were uh, Rhonda and uh, Katie and uh, Babette was over, and they were over there changing, getting ready to go back over into the main park from the water park. And the little kid just went by me in a stroller, and it seemed like his eyes fixated upon me for some reason, and I don't know why. But as I was sitting there, and he kept going, and his head just kept turning, I gave him a thumbs up. You know what? He just kept looking and finally he smiled and gave a thumbs up back. Listen, we just need to take time and let them. It's good. Life is good. God is good. My health, listen, I can give a thumbs up to my knowledge. My health is good. I realize when I get up in the morning, I take about five different pills, one of them being an allergy pill, which is. Uh, why do I think of what's wrong with my throat? Right, but it seems like don't, they're not working the, I like they used to. But I want you to understand that it's good this morning. It's good and pleasant for brethren to dwell together in unity. Ain't you glad there's no strife among us? Ain't you glad there's peace and harmony and fellowship that you can just feel the love of God in the house? I don't know about you, but I sure am glad that I'm part of of the family of God this morning. I, I'm glad that our church is consumed with the Word of God, with the love of God, and the actions of God this morning. Our God is. How many things could we set down if we had time and begin to write out things that God is to us? He's my Savior. 
He's my Lord. He's my Redeemer. He's my Healer. He's my Resurrection. He's my Life. He's my Breath. He's my light. God is light and in Him there is no darkness. Uh, listen, I don't have a light without being consumed by God, but because I have been consumed by His undying love for me, amen, there's a light that He's placed on inside of you and I that the world will see that there's a difference today. Amen. For God is. Time we take the God is out to the world and ask the world, what, what is God to them? What is God to them? You see, because if I would go to each one of you this morning and ask you that phrase, I would get a lot of different answers. A lot of different answers. He's my comforter. He's my joy. He's my peace. He's my shelter in a time of storm. He's my rock in a weary land. He is my shepherd. Amen. All we could go on. He is the door. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. God is this morning. I want you to just take time this week. Amen. Listen, I know realize we've got service tonight on the hill, but I want you to take time this week and spend some time in prayer and thank God for the things that God is in your life and begin to witness and begin to tell those that you work with and those that you hang around with your friends and your neighbors on the things that God is because I promise you there's those out there that they need the very things that we have today. And if we tell them the good things, maybe they'll desire what we have. Amen? You know, I, I know this sounds silly and I've used it before, but our testimony. I, I, I like handing out these suckers to these kids. Amen. But our testimony is like a big lollipop. <laughs> amen. When you pull that lollipop outside of that wrapper, or if I come to the first kid I come to with one of them suckers, and the rest of them see it immediately, they want one. They know. Amen. They've got a taste of it. But if I get that big lollipop off, and I walk by the store there yesterday... One of them shops, they had some of them big ones about that big around. And them big pinwheels that just go circles like that. And I started to grab a couple of them, amen? But I want you to know that if I had one of them, and I'd stand up here and I'd lick on it, amen, listen, and you know what? Your mouth would begin to water on that thing, amen? Come on now. Amen. You'd begin, oh, if I could just get, can you just break me off a piece of that? Can you just help me have a little bit? Of, amen. That's what we need to be doing with our God. Telling the world how good. Showing them. Amen. That's what we're doing. When we're looking on that sucker, mmm, that thing's good. We need to let the world know what God is to us because he's not the old man upstairs that's just out to get us. Our God is our blessing today. Let's stand and get a song. God is. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so Answers pray. He answers pray. He answers pray. He's so good to remember the song that's been sung three different times this morning for a purpose. What that purpose is, I'm not quite sure this morning. But I know this, every day, every hour, I need thee, Lord. If you're lost and undone without a Savior this morning, I want you to know you need Him. If you're weak, if your faith is weak, 
If you feel like the storms of life have just battered you all week long and your strength is weak, I want you to know he's our strength today. Amen. This altar is open for whatever the need may be. And Sister Susie, what's your number? 288. 288. As we sing this song, would you come? Whatever the need is in your life this morning, I promise you, God is able to supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. God have mercy. Forget this is the last Sunday of the month. If you want uh, still stand with us for Brother Albert, our missionary in the Philippines, please uh, either give that to Rhonda or to Vicky, and then Vicky will forward that on to uh, Brother Albert's account. And uh, Brother Albert every now and then sends me reports and updates and different things, and uh, he's doing a good work for the Lord over there. Things are happening. And uh, just keep praying for him and all those guys. There's a uh, a lot of people out there that need saved. Amen? Amen. All right. All hearts free. Don't forget service on the hill tonight. It's just bring cold cut sandwiches or ham salad or whatever. Just going to do sandwiches and chips and things because it's so hot that way everybody don't have to cook uh, anything. And... Uh, Bring a lawn chair if you don't want to sit on one of the benches up there or at one of the tables, and uh, we're going to have a good time in the Lord. It's always a sweet spirit up there. All right, let's praise the Lord. Go home. Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah.